and welcome to Ellen Ruth. So I'm Ellen and today we're going coconuts. <laughs> we're gonna do 100% coconut oil and coconut milk soap. It's just so wonderful. I, it's, I, of course, I will share the recipe down below even though I just shared it, 100% coconut oil. But I'll show you the percentages and uh, how we go about this. It's a fabulous bar of soap. And for the coconut milk, I'm gonna be using this type it's guar gum free and one of the reasons you can use coconut milk with guar gum if that's all you have access to it's okay but the guar gum can speed trace and it's just an extra additive that you don't need in soap so i really like this for soaping um so this is going to be the coconut milk i'll use uh and for the fragrance let's talk about that i have this just straight up almond from wholesale supplies plus it is such a good, just nutty, warm fragrance. I've used this multiple times. It soaps really well. It does discolor to a tan, but that's totally fine. Um, it's just, it's great. And to me, it kind of nutty, coconut, it kind of all went together for me. So that's the, or the fragrance for the color. <laughs> I'm gonna be using Magic Mushroom from Nurture Soap. I absolutely love this color. It is in the brown range, but it has sort of a rusty, maybe terracotta look to it. It's just beautiful, kind of a nut brown, if you will. So that'll be the color swirl. And I might put a little TD in the uncolored portion just because this does have vanillin in it, but um, it's just fabulous. So. With all that being said, I'm gonna get my coconut oil out and melt, uh, and I will be doing the milk in oil method with my coconut milk today. So um, let me get everything prepped and ready to go, and let's come back and make some 100% coconut oil soap. All right, it's soap additives time, and in here I have 108 ounces of coconut oil all melted down and this is a uh, 76 degree coconut oil uh, if you look at some suppliers they'll have a 96 degree and a 76 that's just the melting point uh, 96 coconut oil is great for like um, deodorants and things where you really need a hard uh, bar but um, anyway, most soapers will use 76 degree coconut oil for soap. So that's what's in here. I also have the fragrance in here because I've worked with it before. It soaps wonderfully, doesn't cause me any issues. So it's already in here. And now here comes the can of coconut milk. Love this stuff. It smells so good and it does get, it kind of solidifies on the top so i use my little spatula in there i have water discounted from my lye solution to fit this whole can in here so i'm going to try not to splash and uh, i want to get all of those chunks of coconut cream mixed up really good and uh, before i add my powdered ingredients in i want to just make sure it's all nice and smooth so let me get that blended and then we'll add our powdered ingredients All right, so this is another reason why I like clear-sided containers, because I can peek on the side and make sure there isn't any chunkage or anything floating around in there. You can kind of, gives you a little view in there as you're mixing. So coconut milk is all smoothly dispersed in here. Now it's time for the dry ingredients. I'm gonna do two tablespoons of kale and clay, two tablespoons of colloidal oats, and two tablespoons of coconut milk powder, just cause I've got it and you know, this is all coconut, so why not, right? Can you really have too much? I don't know, I'm not thinking so. So um, let me just tell you, I forgot to say this. This is a 13.5 ounce jar of coconut milk is what I put in here. So I water discounted that from the lye solution. So 13 ounces of coconut milk in here. Let's get the dry ingredients blended in, let it absorb, and then we'll come back in with the lye solution. All right, we're ready to move forward. So let's talk about the recipe one more time. This is 108 ounces of coconut oil in here and 15.8 ounces of lye and to the, so, okay, <laughs> that's how much sodium hydroxide I'm using. In here, I have 16 ounces of distilled water, 
and 15.8 ounces of lye. And again, you never want to use less liquid than lye. So I had to make sure that, and then there's 13 ounces of coconut milk in here. So the total volume of liquid is 29 ounces of liquid to 15.8 ounces of lye, and I just split it up between the coconut milk and the distilled water. I hope that makes sense, and it's all gonna be written in the description box below. So what else is going on in here is, after I measured out my 16 ounces of water, I put in a tablespoon of cane sugar, dissolved it in there, I snipped up some tuss of silk fibers, then I poured the 15.8 ounces of lye over the top and that melted the silk, and I put a little sodium lactate in here. I went shy on it because coconut bars are very hard anyway. Sodium lactate can be used at a rate of one let's see, what is it? One teaspoon per pound of oils. That's how you figure your sodium lactate for maximum usage. I usually go a little shy on it, but um, I do like it. It helps unmolding very nice on your soaps. So what I'm gonna do is get this mixed in here. I'm soaping again. It's actually a little cooler now. Um, it's about 78 degrees on the oils and a little cooler on the lye here. Um, and I'm gonna get this up to emulsion and we'll split off for that beautiful magic mushroom color, which I love. And again, the fragrance is already in here. I have worked with it before. So I know the fragrance won't cause me trouble. Sometimes coconut oil can go a little sketchy 100%, but um, the fragrance isn't gonna be problematic. So uh, let's talk about super fat real quick here before I start blending. <laughs> um, super fat is simply the percentage of oils that do not get saponified. So if you have a 0% super fat, that means the lye has saponified 100% of the oils and then anything up from that. So 20% super fat, <laughs> a little bit of a tongue twister, means that 20% of this coconut oil will not be saponified and so it won't be a drying soap because coconut oil and soap can be drying. Getting a little bit of rice in here. So I'm just gonna start blending here and then we'll split off for the color. I'll talk more about the super fat later. I can feel the coconut oil heating up. That's the other thing is coconut oil soaps get very hot in the mold. So I will put a lid on this, but I will also be checking it to make sure we don't overheat. All right, let me get this split off for that beautiful color.
the next day, uh, almost 24 hours later, maybe 22 hours, and I cannot wait to get in here. This almond fragrance smells so good. And let me just say, this took a while to trace. I cut out or speeded through a lot of the blending. I just blended and blended and blended because with coconut oil, once in a while you can get a false trace. So you really wanna make sure you have a good complete emulsion. Anyway, loving magic mushroom, that color just delights me. So let's get in here and see how the inside came out. It was very fluid when I poured it. Because um, again, it just took forever to trace. I was, you know, again, soaping at room temperature and just blended, but so worth it. Let's get in here. So before we get to cutting these into bars, I wanna show you some a couple of cool things about this soap specifically, being 100% coconut oil with a 20% super fat. So let me just grab it here and show you. You see how it kind of looks, I don't know, bluish green here? It's still in the process of saponifying and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that, almost an oily look. Well, that will all be absorbed. So don't let that throw you off. If you're like, oh no, there's oil on my soap. It doesn't have oil pockets. It's not seeping. It's just a little shiny because it's still doing its magic. So this color will eventually be this color. It's gonna be a very bright, you know, um, ivory. Not a white white with coconut oil, but a very bright ivory color. So when it's all done working, that color is going to turn to that nice light color. But I just think it's fascinating. So again, the 20% super fat on this, normally when I soap, I do a 5%. And super fat is simply the amount of oils that don't get saponified by the lye. So they are extra oils. So moisturizing, if you will. <laughs> it makes your bars really wonderful. So with coconut oil, in a regular soap recipe, it's the cleansing oil. Well, in this recipe with a 20% that isn't activated by the lye, so you still have just coconut oil in there, this is no longer, it's not a drying bar at all. In fact, it's very skin nourishing. So with all that being said, let's get on in here and get these cut into bars. All right, we're back and it's time to cut into these. Oh, this almond smells so good. If you like almond, I do, it just smells I don't know, kind of like um, cookies to me for some reason. <laughs> it's just a nice, warm, sort of nostalgic fragrance, I think. And it behaves beautifully. So in this very simple yet luxurious recipe, I think it's fabulous. And with that coconut milk in there, I mean, come on, it's all good. Oh my word, this is gonna be cute. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, that's cute. I like, kind of looks like a feather. And again, this darkness is going to lighten up to that color. So I'll probably wait a day or two uh, before I take the photographs of these when they're all done so that you can get the whole, you know, the look of it. But let's see. Oh, you know what? I've got to do it. <laughs> Can't forget about my patterns. You know, I love that. All right, let's do it. Let's see what we got. So cool. Oh, I'm loving it. And that magic mushroom color, it's my, it's one of my favorite earth tones. I don't know if I would call it a brown even. So this little um, crumbly bits there is just, uh, the soap has little crusts that went through. So that's not the bar. It's just a little scrape on there that's very easy to rub out. But anyway, these smell fantastic. I really encourage you to give this recipe a try. If you've never tried 100% coconut oil soap, Really, I challenge you, give it a try. I think you'll love it. I know I do. Um, I have some friends that exclusively, this is the only kind of soap they like. And these bars after the cure are so rock hard, very long lasting. So, you know, coconut oil is very firm at room temperature. So these are just 
fab-o in my book. I love them. All right, let's keep cutting. <laughs> 